Hi friends, today I am going to show you on how to upstream your kernel manually. Some OEM manufacturers like Samsung does not share their common commit histories. So it will become a little bit difficult to upstream your kernel directly from Linux table. So we need to apply each and every patches manually to your kernel sources. Let's take a look on how to do that. So first you need to open your browser. Go to your kernel sources. That's my kernel source is located in GitHub. So I am going to my GitHub page. Here my GitHub page. I took my kernel sources. Here go to commits. You can see that last last patch I applied is Linux 3.0.14. So I need to update it to or upstream it to. 3.0.15 to do first you need to go uh, take a new tab and type linux table linux table here this is the link go to this link you can see a lot of branches and my I see here my branch is 3.0. So I need to go to 3.0 point branch. Here you can see that Linux 3.0 point Y. Just click on that. And the last patch I applied is 3.0.14. So I need to go to 3.0.14 scrolling down to Here you can see that 3.0.14. I need to upstream it to 3.0.15. So there is a, a patch here. First, I need to clone my kernel sources to my build machine for cloning. Just copy paste this into copy paste this into your terminal. I already cloned my kernel sources, so I am going directly for applying patches. I already applied this Linux 3.0.14 patch. I need to apply the next patch so I am opening it and click on this patch here you can see the patch just copy this whole line copy this from the address bar I am just copying that and now go to your kernel source where you downloaded here it is my kernel source here open in terminal now you need to copy this is already copied and just type curl space just pass just paste that line that address we copied and give a space and this line space git space am now you can see that patch is applying and the patch is uh, applied so next you need to push your patches to your sources so push as git space push yes press enter now it is already pushed you can check it here yeah that's pushed now one patch is applied next we need to go to another other patch next is linux 3.0.14 just open it in new tab click on this patch the same way we applied the earlier patch type curl 
just paste that and git am now you can see that a conflict is obtained and that is something we need to do manually so just about this I am abouting this patch and I am copying this patch copied this patch the whole line I just copied this whole line and open your text editor just paste that and save it in your kernel directory as something I am giving patch and you need to give a name dot patch please carefully observe that you need not give any spaces here it should be a single word and just save it in your kernel directory okay just close this and here you need to type you need to apply the patch manually so type patch space hyphen p1 space uh, we need to type the name of the patch we given that i given patch dot patch just press enter here you can see that the patch is succeeded and go to your kernel directory just delete this patch file i just deleted now here type git status you can see that make file is modified uh, so the patch is applied and we need to do this again the last patch you need to copy that just copy and paste that again it will show error but don't worry now you need to again type git status the file is already modified so we need to add that to add that modified file just type git space add just the name of that file press enter now you can check that whether it is added or not its status yes it is are added now just type this line git am continue just i'm just copy pasting that git am continue now you can see that applying linux 3.0.15 just type git push and the changes are now pushed into your account just go to your account and reload that go to commits here you can see that next 3.0.15 is applied so some devices like i already mentioned that samsung does not share common commit histories so this is the better way to apply each and every patches manually from linux table thank you for watching guys i hope this helped you a lot nice day